Hello friends, welcome to AWS with Jamie. In this video, I am going to talk about how to draw AWS architecture step-by-step uh, -step guide. If you are new to the AWS with Jamie channel, please like this video and subscribe my channel. So let's get started. First, open uh, Google and you can search AWS architecture icons. And once you search AWS architecture icons, you will see this official page. Uh, as soon as you click on that, you will get this AWS uh, architecture icon dedicated page where you get all the official AWS architecture diagrams um, and icons. Um, so that those, those are professional uh, AWS approved icon, which you can use anywhere in your professional architecture uh, you designing in uh, for AWS. So uh, these are like you can see this is the dedicated page for uh, all the icons. Uh, you can also download here uh, icon package, which package uh, you will get all the icons uh, related to all the AWS related services and fundamentals and also you will get a PPT format also uh, if you want to get, uh, if you want to use this icon anywhere in your local for your uh, presentation or designing architecture. So you can get a complete icon kit here and uh, uh, so if you download this kit you will get a lot of uh, different icon inside that package um, and same way ppt uh, and if you want to see different uh, uh, which are the different tools where you can design your architecture so these are the different um, uh, official uh, supported uh, uh, tool from aws side for drawing the architecture diagram for aws so these are the different tools um, uh, so popular one and also people are using different tools based on their choice. So this uh, this draw.io is uh, one of the good tool I like. Uh, there is a lucid chart. That's, this is also another tool. So this any of the tool you can use and you can start designing your architecture diagram. There are some official uh, architecture center and blog also from AWS side to take uh, some reference. So we can uh, start with draw.io in this uh, video. Uh, so we can click on it and we can open it. So here we can see this is a uh, tool uh, draw.io from which we can we are able to use this for our designing of our architecture. So here you can see there are set of uh, different um, icon tools you can see on sidebar uh, here and also here are different settings. So uh, as soon as you start fresh, right, you can open your new um, new uh, di uh, blank screen for designing your diagram. And here you see set of different AWS related icons like arrows and different AWS related frames and uh, uh, application inter integration like API gateways and AWS compute related icons like uh, EC2 and lambdas. Uh, container related I I icons, right? ECS, ECR, and other different databases, RDS, and all the stuff. So this way you get different icons which you can use in your design for designing your architecture. Uh, if you start fresh and uh, with new design, if you don't see this icon, AWS related icon, you need to click on more steps. And here you get these different options like what kind of icon you want to show in your sidebar. Say for example, if it is disabled, you can't see those um, icon in your sidebar. Okay, so you need to go on uh, in case you don't see uh, while you creating a new um, uh, page. Uh, you, if you don't see, you just click on more step and you have to select here uh, latest one on the AWS uh, site. Uh, you can use AWS uh, uh, 2025 uh, diagram. There is a AWS 18 old version also. So these are the different um, icons from AWS official supported icons. So when we designing any architecture in AWS, we can start with um, simple uh, frames, right? So we can take AWS frame uh, where we can take some icons, right? Say for example, this. So this is a, uh, we represent like everything inside the AWS account. We are going to create a resource inside AWS account, right? And after that, we have a region right we create a resources inside the region so we have a aws official aws account inside that we have a uh, region 
and inside region we have a uh, like vpc right virtual private private cloud inside that uh, we create some resources and all the stuff so this way we can uh, take a different um, icons and start designing the architecture diagram so um, inside the vpc we have a like um, availability zone right and we have this easy so we can take those uh, availability zone from this group let's find it and we can drag that availability zone here here we have this az right uh, so inside vpc we have a az availability zone and um, inside the availability zone we can put a subnet right we will have a public or a private subnet so say for example if we take a public subnet subnet uh, we have this uh, public subnet this we can uh, put it here we are designing let, let's uh, as an example first we can design a single one tier application okay so say for example we have a, a web application database and everything running on single instance so that is a one tier application we can design start with one tier application first so we have a ws account we have a region inside that vpc and availability zone inside availability zone we have a public subnet okay inside the public subnet uh, we will have a uh, ec2 instance right uh, we have everything application database and everything running and uh, we can also search here icons we can search ec2 so we will get all the ec2 related um, icons here right so we can uh, drag and drop that ec2 related icons here and we can put that inside a um, uh, subnet public subnet right because this is a like um, web application uh, where uh, uh, it will be called from outside the vpc right uh, because uh, the end user will interact with it so here uh, we also have a like uh, net um, that uh, internet gateway So we can search um, Internet Gateway and we can put that uh, uh, at VPC level, right? Because this VPC need to in, uh, connect uh, with the end user uh, to have an internet connection with this VPC to access this uh, EC2 uh, from within this VPC. And also there will be users, right? Uh, so we can also get a different users icon uh, also. Um, So this users uh, accessing this, right? Uh, so we can also have a different arrows, uh, arrow icon we can get and use those arrow icons to show the, uh, like how this is accessing and all the stuff. So this is, I'm just showing at high level, right? So you can get an idea like this user trying to access um, this uh, application within AWS uh, through Internet Gateway and it will reach to the EC2 instance and get the application surveyed from single tier application like database, um, application logic and front end and all the stuff present in single EC2 instance, single tier application. And if it is goes down, um, like uh, and anyways, AZ goes down, this application will goes down in a single uh, availability zone. If uh, for a, a high availability like we are able to uh, create a like uh, another multi az application also so like this uh, we can have a so now we have this uh, high available uh, high availability application right uh, so say for example if we have this az goes down we can use this another az so for that also we can use a load balancer uh, say for example if we want to distribute a load uh, this uh, if you want to distribute a load among this um, say for example if something fell over here it will route the traffic to um, another uh, easy uh, and also um distribute the load right and we can also have a like um, auto scaling uh, auto scaling group on, on on top of this 
so that we can also show and uh, use a auto scaling related icons uh, if you want to show the auto, auto scaling on top of this right so this is a kind of like a single tier application uh, where users can access this application through internet gateway to the vpc in the availability zone uh, and public subnet uh, through the ec2 where everything hosted on single machine uh, database and application logic and front end on all the stuff and um, this will be a, like a load balancer to handle the load and failover stuff um, for high availability, right? Um, uh, for scaling perspective, we can also add a auto scaling so that if anything, this any server goes down, it will auto scale or a high traffic, it will auto scale multiple EC2 instance uh, through auto scaling group, right? So we can also use the auto scaling and represent that. But uh, for now, I'm just showing you at high level so we get idea. Uh, also, we can create a multi-tier application here, um, like three-tier application also, right? We can add a multiple uh, subnet uh, inside the, um, we can add a multiple subnet here. Say, for example, we added a, uh, we can also add here uh, private subnet. Uh, so here we can add a private subnet another private subnet also we can add a for a three tier application right uh, this is a one more uh, private subnet so this way like uh, inside uh, one public subnet uh, we can uh, put a our uh, front end related stuff right and in uh, uh, web web server and uh, in another private server we can put a application or a business logic server web uh, and also in a private another private subnet we can put a our rds right our rds database we can put uh, that in uh, another private subnet so this will be become three tier application where we have a like front end web server and business logic uh, we hosted in uh, uh, backend logic hosted in private subnet and also we have another private sub, uh, subnet in which we have a database uh, hosted right so this way uh, we can uh, have a three tier application also we can represent um, through multiple subnets with, uh, within az and we also can have a similar um, uh, like multi az application we can do we can do um, uh, load balancing auto scaling stuff as uh, like that um, and, and we can represent all those stuff, right? Uh, so this is, I'm just showing at high level, but we can do a lot of micro level stuff. Uh, we can give it proper labeling. We can show here a step by step also, like what will be the first step, second step, and we can do those kind of design. Uh, so this is a, like uh, I saw about uh, one tier and uh, three tier application related stuff. We can also design um, complex stuff uh, serverless kind of application also um, um, by using this right so say for example if you want to design any uh, serverless uh, architecture we can also uh, draw those kind of stuff as well so say for example we have a this uh, aws cloud right uh, so i'm just showing at high level um, so if user is accessing uh, this application uh, we can represent that right uh, user is ac accessing this uh, application we can show at high level and we can have a cloud front uh, so we can search the cloud front and uh, we can have that access and also um, let us give a name icon with the naming so we can get idea right amazon cloud front also we can have a, a api gateway so uh, api gateway we can have a lambda function we can have a dynamo db right in serverless uh, means uh, uh, we don't need to manage servers um, everything will be taken care by aws so these are all serverless uh, services we can use uh, amazon dynamo db right uh, and uh, so so in api case uh, it, uh, if in api case uh, this uh, the uh, api gateway will call a lambda function and it will do the operation with dynamo db right 
so we can also represent uh, this way we will do the proper way uh, while designing but this is a high level i am showing for now and uh, we can take a another arrow right so this is a user accessing this we can also take a s3 bucket uh, for storing the um, front end stuff for static content right uh, so this cloud front will uh, call this s3 so this way we can design this stuff so this way we can also uh, represent uh, the serverless architecture also like user call the um, application amazon cloud front will uh, take a static content web application html and those stuff from from s3 bucket and uh, then it will have a front end running and front end calling the back end apis through api gateway lambda function will do the um, code run or node js python or uh, supported runtime and get the dynamic db operation and you'll get the uh, your complete page server right there will be also more on top of this there will be a route 53 um, also on top of this and there will be a iim role also associated with the um, iim role also associated with the lambda function and all the stuff right so this route 53 also route the request and iim role will be represent uh, associated with lambda function it needs a permission to do the dynamo db operation so this way we can need use a need for needful icons and draw the professional architecture diagram as per our needs uh, so first you need to understand all the services some concept and um, like what kind of requirement high ability scalability a serverless architecture or a traditional architecture uh, whatever way you need right so according to your needs you are able to uh, design your architecture a professional way uh, so say for example here given uh, you can even do azure gcp other architecture also so here given some professional uh, architecture uh, uh, for a reference right so you can do this kind of uh, professional stuff also uh, once you uh, uh, start doing it uh, simple uh, architecture so you can do uh even you are able to represent step also right uh, what will be the first step and second step and all those kind of stuff so you can also do uh this level detailing also right this will be the first step second step third step will be done and these are the instructions so this way you can design your professional architecture uh, in um, draw.io so i hope you get uh, at least some idea based on this video um go ahead uh, and get started with aws um, today and uh, level up your journey on uh, pro of creating a professional solution architect on aws and if you are new to the aws please um, check and explore my channel for more uh, aws and cloud and serverless related stuff uh, please uh, like this video share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more about AWS cloud and serverless and community stuff. Thank you so much for your time watching this.